good afternoon and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Well, it's been a pretty intense couple of days. I have gotten my official diagnosis. For those of you that were able to attend our live show Friday night, you have already found out, or if you watched the replay, you already found out. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that I told the rest of you um, that, you know, not everybody watches live shows. They're not always the easiest to watch. Plus, we were having some technical difficulties. So I wanted to make sure that I caught everybody up to date so that everybody would know what's going on at this point. Oh. Oh, you just noticed me walking by, huh? Everybody's having a nice lazy afternoon in the sun. The goats have a new paddock today, so their bellies are full and they are happy. Happy, healthy, sunshiny goats. <laughs> they seem pretty content. They're not even running up to me, man. <laughs> They're all chewing their cud. Just relaxing. Whoa, that was scary. I almost got stung. And several goats did get stung. And I don't know what to do about it because right there, close to where Fancy is rubbing her head, is a wasp nest in the ground. Not cool. I stepped on it and they started coming out like crazy and hearts had just come up to me and asked for love and so she got stung on the back leg and then I think Fancy too may have gotten stung and one of the other ones because I saw them jump up and run real fast but it might have been because they saw the wasps going nuts um, and knew what it meant. <laughs> But poor little hearts of all the goats to get stung. It's gonna be our one not so not so strong goat. Poor thing. You see she keeps kicking kicking up her back leg. She's got a couple of big stings on the side. I'm gonna get some plantain, put that on. See if I can find the spot where their sting actually is. So let me do that right quick. So much for that. Nope. She, I can't tell where the sting is actually located. So she's just gonna have to fight it off. Poor thing. So anyway, I'm afraid to go back in there. So I'm gonna just sit right here. I was gonna go in and sit with, under the shelter with the goats and talk to you guys. But I guess, mm, oh, my achy bones, my achy body. All right, so what I found out on Friday was a confirmation of my suspicions I already had from my symptoms and research that I've done and also because of close friends of mine that are suffering with many of the same issues. I have been diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis autoimmune disease. That is the main thing that's wrong with me. I have some other things that are associated with that that could have caused that, that could be caused from that. There's really no way to tell. There's just a lot going on in my body right now. I have a hormone imbalance. I have adrenal fatigue. I have um, anemia and just a host of other things that are going on that I need to get on top of. There are also several other tests that need to be done. There are, is more blood work I need to have done. There's more testing that needs to be done for some other things that I might be suffering from as well. But at this point in time, we've got at least a starting point for trying to get healthy. Um, we're not gonna be doing any of the testing that's been recommended right away, just because it's so costly and we already spent so much money on this initial testing so after talking it over with the doctor we've come up with a list of supplements that are crucial for me to begin taking 
there's another list of supplements that I should be taking, but cost-wise, it's kind of prohibitive at this point. I can only afford to do so many at a time. So we're gonna go with these supplements that are the most important. We're gonna go with major diet change. And we're gonna hope that the supplements that we're going to start or have already started um, and the diet change is going to be a huge help in getting some of my symptoms alleviated so that I'm able to kind of get my life back. So because it is an autoimmune issue, we need to go on an anti-inflammatory diet. Um, so that's, that's a big lifestyle change. I'm having to eliminate all gluten, all sugar, any dairy other than my raw goat, I did convince him that raw goat milk was acceptable for this diet because raw goat milk is anti-inflammatory. So I got really lucky there. Um, I can't imagine um, giving up my raw goat milk. So that's, that's, that's a real blessing. I'm eliminating all the nightshades. So that's potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, anything in that family that includes in spices. So anything with cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes, or paprika is out of the question. I am eliminating most of the bad grains like corn and uh, just a whole list of other things. Um, peanuts and peanut butter are off the list. So I'm not naming everything here. I'm naming the ones that are just so a big part of my diet already that is going to be the biggest ones to make it a pretty hard change for me. I am a gluten lover. <laughs> I also am supposed to be eliminating pork and beef unless I can find a source of grass finished pork and beef. Most grass fed beef in the grocery store is actually grain finished and the corn and soy that they feed them can trigger the autoimmune response. So I cannot risk even grass fed grocery store beef is bad for me. So I, I already contacted my local farmer friend at Swanson Farms and he does grass finish. So I'm hoping that I can get together with ham and get some beef so that when I do have those strong beef cravings that I get all the time, I'll be able to have a little bit of beef. Um, no bacon. Yeah, that's cry worthy right there. I mean, I can do turkey bacon, but it's not the same. Um, it's, it's gonna be hard. I can do chicken, I can do turkey, I can do wild game, I can do lamb. So those are the things that we're gonna try to focus on is what can I do you know and he did he did approve steel cut oats like Bob's Red Mill steel cut oats as a, as okay because your body reacts differently to those so we're going to come up with some alternative recipes for things that we used to love and eat all the time like granola <laughs> and pizza I'm gonna have to come up with a gluten-free pizza crust it's gonna have to be a non tomato based sauce so something like basil pesto um and then i can make my own raw goat milk mozzarella for the toppings so it's, it's gonna be doable i w ryan is on top of this ryan loves cooking challenges so he's pretty excited about the idea that he gets to create a whole new menu for me and he wants to be a part of the better eating too um Everybody should go gluten and sugar free. I mean, it's not just people with autoimmune issues that should go gluten free. It's gluten's bad. Gluten's gluten's really bad on your body because they've changed it so much. It's not the same wheat that we that the, with that, that that our ancestors grew up on. It's been modified and changed so many times that it's no longer the same amount of gluten in it, and the gluten level is much higher than it used to be. So, if I can get my hand on some ancient gluten grains maybe down the road i can make some of my own sourdough bread that's has most of the gluten eaten out of it and it'll be tolerable but for the first 30 days i'm going to be really strict i'm not going to cheat i'm going to be really good so that's where we stand right now um in our live show we had a lot of conversation happening in the chat room 
a lot of you viewers are suffering from either the same or similar disorders um, if those of you that don't know Hashimoto's is a thyroid disease so my thyroid my uh, my immune system is attacking my thyroid and that's the thyroid is one of the most important things in your entire body the hormones produced from your thyroid go throughout your entire system and run most of your functions <laughs> so it it explains a lot of the symptoms I've been having why I've had such severe um, exhaustion fatigue pain um, also my adrenal being shot my adrenal is completely shot we don't have the test to back that up but the doctor was 100% sure that I have some serious adrenal issues going on based on the symptoms that I have and the way that they are cyclical in nature you guys see videos of me in the morning in the morning after my coffee I feel pretty good and I get up and I go and I do my chores and I get them done and I just barely get them done by the end of my chores I feel like I'm gonna pass out I have dizzy spells I feel like I'm gonna faint um, I feel like all I can do is lay down and let my body melt into the couch my body physically feels heavy I can't lift it up and that's been my biggest issue is from basically from 3 to 8 o'clock <laughs> I'm done I'm really done and then after 8 I have a little bit of an up spike again but that's usually when we're sitting and having our family movie time or show time that's what we do in the evenings to relax is we'll just you know sit on the couch and watch Netflix or just relax and let let all the worries of our day disappear for a little while and then we go to bed I have not been going to bed I have had severe insomnia it has kept me up till 2 o'clock in the morning and then I can't wake up in the morning because I didn't go to bed till 2 o'clock in the morning and it's been really hard on me and the lack of sleep the disruption in sleep has also added to a lot of my symptoms and probably hurt my adrenals even more but you know the good thing is is we know what's going on now and there's a good chance I can get my life back I've been thinking about it a lot and I've been researching you know how to eat right and how to um, which supplements are the most important to take for this, these issues and helping myself heal and everything and it sounds like a lot of people do really good with these treatments these natural treatments I am taking a thyroid um, it's a the t3 thyroid I'm low in so I am taking a thyroid supplement it is derived from pigs though so it's natural um, it's not a chemical luckily I wasn't severe enough that I had to be put on a chemical medication <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing this, I got to do this, and one of my main goals in getting my life back is being able to garden again. I can say without a shadow of the doubt that is the thing that I have missed the most with this change of life that's happened to me that I haven't been able to garden. Um, there's a good chance that I've had Hashimoto's my entire life. Or for a very long time at least um, some of the symptoms that I have have been all the way back from middle school um, my major symptoms kicked in the most when I was pregnant with Liam and then they kicked in even stronger when we were going through this past year of depression and anxiety with the losses that we had in our herd and the job losses with Ryan and the financial strains that we went through over the winter and then a couple of months ago when Willow passed away that death hit me harder than any of the others for those of you that don't know <laughs> um, she was she was very special to me uh, not that they aren't all special to me but she's she was in the top three you know um, and 
that triggered a pretty severe depression. Um, and I've been having panic attacks and anxiety issues for the past year. I've had PTSD for the last year and all of these things aren't helping. They're making it worse. So a couple of months ago when she passed away, my symptoms then turned into the being glued to the couch symptoms. And it wasn't like a depression glued to the couch thing. It was a, oh my gosh, I can't move. My body won't move. I can't get up. And I've had a lot of brain issues, um, major brain issues, memory loss, um, brain fog, not being able to say the correct words when I'm talking. I say the wrong word and I don't even realize it sometimes. So it's affected me neurologically. Um, the dizzy spells and the almost passing out has been really bad. So the, over the last couple of months has been to the point where it was truly affecting my day-to-day -day life. Like, bad. And that's why Ryan finally put his foot down and said, you need to be seen by a doctor. I don't care if we can't afford it. So now that we've done what we can with the money that we didn't have to do it with, <laughs> and we've bought the first round of supplements with the money we didn't have to buy them, we're going to do this. The 30 days of supplements and, and healthy eating is already started and it's going to get better. Ryan is supporting me on the food and I just have to take it from there. I have to get control of my mental health. Um, a lot of these supplements and lifestyle changes are going to help with my mental health already, but I'm going to be increasing my meditation and prayer and I'm going to hopefully get into some kind of exercise maybe, like yoga or something. I don't know. I think that once I feel enough energy to do exercise, the exercise is going to be the gardening. I'm going to be gardening. Even if it's the middle of winter, I can be doing stuff because I live in Georgia and I do have some cold frames. So even if it's in the middle of winter and I have to start seeds on a heat pad and wait till they're big enough to plant out into a cold frame, I'll do it because I miss it that much. The past year or two of not having a decent garden has been way harder on me than I realized. I really see it now that the lack of gardening has caused me to suffer a great deal physically emotionally and nutritionally so that's my number one goal and I'm gonna get there so any of you that have been battling with autoimmune disease any of you that have thyroid issues or Hashimoto's any of you that have hormone issues or depression and anxiety I hope that seeing me fight this and hopefully win will help inspire you guys to fight what you're battling and I know it could be a lot worse and I know a lot of you are battling things that are a lot worse so just know that I I care about you and I'm praying for all of you and I appreciate any of your prayers and thoughts and well wishes um, send that good energy my way. I definitely am feeling it already and I appreciate that. And I hope that those of you that are really into the homestead journey will continue watching even if I drop a lot of health videos down here and there because this is going to be a part of my life now. I'm not going to have just videos on Hashimoto's from now on. Don't worry about that. But we are definitely going to be producing some videos that are going to talk about this. Um, not necessarily as boring as this one, though. So, well, Ryan's already got some recipes in mind that he wants to share with you guys and help you guys on your journey for better health. Because that's what this is about. We're going to be healthier when this is over with. And... I'm just really grateful that Ryan pushed me to get a diagnosis because I honestly didn't know that there was anything truly wrong with me. A lot of me thought, oh, it's just because I'm old. It's just because I've, I've turned 40 and I'm over the hill now and, you know, I tortured my body with four children, two of them late in life. 
Uh, <laughs> but no, no, these are these are real feelings. What I've been feeling is not it, it's not in my head. I'm not crazy, and I think that power alone of knowing that I'm I'm not crazy is going to help me get better. So I appreciate you guys for sitting through this long, drawn out talk. Those of you that did. <laughs> And we will be going back to some more homestead-like videos. So look forward to that. If you're not interested in hear hearing about the health journey, then I'll try not to um, make it too much of a focus. And I'll make the titles really clear. So when I do produce a video that is about my health journey, I'll try to, I'll try to title it appropriately so that those of you that have no interest in it can just don't watch that video so please don't unsubscribe just because you don't want to hear about my health I hope I hope nobody gets chased off by that but I know that most of you want to know what's going on and um, I'll leave the short little updates to just a sentence here or there in the vlog and then when I focus more on my health journey I will make a whole video just about that so if you're not interested you can skip it and if you are interested you can watch it and join us on this journey <laughs> it's gonna be a wild one <laughs> but thank you guys for everything I appreciate it thank you for watching wholesome roots please like share comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time on wholesome roots.